don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear this because I'm in Chicago and uh, it is fucking 90 degrees out <laughs> at the end of September. It's, this has been the worst September ever. It's been 100 degrees every fucking day. Finally tomorrow it's supposed to be like 64 for a minute and who knows, it'll probably be 100 next week. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about real fast was, uh, I don't know, something that always, it's always kind of irked me. And that's Bill Clinton's whores. And what I mean by that are everybody likes to drag up all of Bill Clinton's dirty laundry. Is about he he was fast and loose with his dick. Most men are. What's the big fucking shock? I, I don't know. Well, he was president of the United States. Who gives a fuck? That's not our business. That doesn't affect your decision on policy making or anything like that. Like, what, he had too much pussy? So he's just going to be sitting there like, oh, God, I had too much pussy. <laughs> I can't even think. I can't go to Congress a day and even talk to them. It's just the pussy's too much. <laughs> Look, first off, I've always said, you know Hillary's not getting many. Come on. I mean, d d d she was frigid back then. She always looked like she just, you know, he's like, honey, you want to deny? And she's like, I want to be president. <laughs> honey, I just got elected president. It's 1992. I, I, don't, I don't think you're going to get a chance to do that for a while. We're not fucking. I want to be president. I'm thinking of ways how to be president. I, what is sex? I don't even know what that is. How do we have a daughter? <laughs> but um, it's come to the light again with um, Bill Clinton's whores. What I mean by whores, I'm not talking about somebody like a Monica Lewinsky. People always got on her. I defended Monica Lewinsky. She was a young, impressionable intern. She didn't really... I mean, she knew what she was doing as far as sucking a dick. I heard she really knew what she was doing as far as sucking a dick, but okay, whatever. Um... One mistake she made was saving that dress. That's disgusting. Why would you do that? And having a narc as a best friend. Remember that bitch who turned her in? Linda Tripp. Linda Tripp, if you don't remember, was a pig monster. Um, she looked like a pig strapped into like a power women's suit from the 80s. She had horrible hair. Lipstick was always like fucking kicked around her mouth and shit like that. And she always... She did the, like the fucking like face like she get fucked up her ass whenever she's speaking. She's like, I am just like you. And uh, she was a nasty bitch. She taped every phone call. This girl trusted her. Would call her, be like, Bill Clinton, I'm really in love with him. I don't know why he's acting this way. Yeah, I really care about you. Let's get the audio up, and this is gonna be great when I fucking turn this bitch in. Oh, I'm gonna be an American hero. You know that's why she did it. She thought this bitch thought she was gonna be like have a parade or big fat ugly ass. They were gonna throw roses at her, be like, thank you for exposing Bill Clinton, you dirty, disgusting narc bitch. You thank you. And what happened? Everybody hated her ass for it. That bitch came out in her front lawn crying about it. Remember, she's like, I'm just like you. I did this because I cared about her. How the fuck you, how the fuck you narc on somebody because you care about them? Only if like, you know, it's your kid and they just killed somebody. Like, I would narc on my kid then be like, you know, listen, I did it because I cared about you. You know, Jay Jr. That's why I told you kill those three women in the park. I mean, the first one, I hid the body, right? So what are you mad about? But these next two, you can't keep doing this shit. That's the time to care and narc, all right? For your ass to sit there and take phone calls of poor Monica Lewinsky who's just trying to, having her 21-year-old drama with the president, an older man, they were both getting off on that shit. The only fault I had with Bill Clinton then was he didn't back her up. He didn't man up and say, you know what? I'm the president, I'm the old, I'm, I'm, she's a young woman, I'm the man here, let me deal with this shit, leave her out of this shit, just come on. But they wanted a witch hunt, and plus everybody gave Monica shit about sucking dick, including women, women, married women, and women, because I'm sure none of the women who ever gave her shit had never sucked a cock before, it never had happened. It was the first time ever that perverse sex out, how dare that slut. How about, you women, any of you who fucking side against her should be ashamed of your goddamn selves. Well, I never did it with a married man. How the fuck do you know? Have you checked every dick? Did it have a ring on it? <laughs> Didn't have a ring on it? Okay, this dick is not married to anybody. Guys can take that shit off. Shut the fuck up with that shit. It always annoyed me even back then. I was annoyed by everything pretty much, as you can tell. But now, the latest whore is Jennifer Flowers. And if you don't know who she is, I don't blame you. Um, nobody over the age of... 35 should know who this aging, disgusting prostitute is. Uh, back in the 80s, she was a failed actress. She tried to act in like two B movies and even they were like, you know what, you are such a shitty actress and we usually require shitty actresses for this role, but get the fuck out of here. You're really that bad. So she then somehow hooked up with Bill Clinton. She had a relationship with him. He lied about it. He's a married man at the time. Of course, he's got a fucking lie. Boys, he's got to be like, hey, I'm getting pussy from this hot blonde chick. Hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Hillary will kill him. You know that. Look at her. Would you tell her shit? Would you be like, honey, I got something to tell you. What? <laughs> I'm president? Uh, no, uh, I've been cheating. Ow, ow. Fucking, <laughs> you know that's what's going to come next. I wouldn't tell her shit either. But fucking Jennifer Flowers' ass, she went out there and, you know, she just talked about what a victim she was. She was sexually naive. What, were you 10 when he fucking did something to you? No, you were like in your mid-20s. I think she was even like 30 or something like that. She was sexually naive. That bitch, she was like, you know, come here, Bill, baby. She had like a red lingerie on. She was spreading her ass for him and shit like that. She knew exactly what she was doing. Fuck that lying slut. And so then, 
she made this big thing, you know, when he was uh, becoming president, she came out, some, you know, some Republican dragged her out, put her in front of a microphone, said, listen, whore, talk about how much he fucked you. And she's like, okay, sweet. So she was talking about it, and then she wrote a book about, you know, how her innocence was lost. Your innocence was lost when you were blowing guys for hubba bubba bubble gum at the age of 12. That's Your innocence was gone way, even before that. I mean, your innocence, when cum was being splattered on your face from the neighborhood boys, that's when your innocence was gone, you lying prostitute, you. And so then... She uh, continued her uh, tour of, and most of these bitches did that. That's why it annoyed me. His uh, girls he fucked around with, they did tours about how he fucked them and how they were victims. How are you a victim? You're a grown ass woman who fucked around with a married man. Let me reiterate that. You a married man. He was, well, he knew he was married. These bitches knew he was married too, didn't they? Jennifer Flowers, Miss Whore, you knew he was married, didn't you? But your nasty, disgusting, no morals ass were happy to spread those flabbity pussy lips so he could get up in there, right? You nasty, disgusting bitch. So now how this all comes to play now, oh, and she also, she tried to auction tapes off of Bill on eBay. That's how classy this bitch is. She's just classy. Remember the other whore that he was always fucking around with? They were making out a big victim as Paula Jones and Coulter. We have her to thank. That's how she became famous. She was this bitch's lawyer. She just was searching through a trailer park one day like, anybody want to say they fucked Bill Clinton? Anybody that he harassed you? Anybody? Anybody? You with the ugly big nose over here. You disgusting two teeth little slut. Come here. Let me talk to you for five seconds. We'll give you lots of money and make up a story. They brought that bitch out. Listen, he obviously has a type. A pleasantly faced type. Now, I'm not saying a body type. I mean, Monica was a little chunky, you know. She jiggles when she wiggles. But, <laughs> but you know, Jennifer Flowers, pretty face. Not now. I mean, have you seen her lately? Looks like somebody dipped a lot of acid on that horse face. It's whore acid. There's all the whoriness is coming out of her and cars and wrinkles and shit. All right. Um, but, yeah, pretty. Paula Jones came around and said, <laughs> well, he, he used to do things to me. He was chasing me like crazy. He was, he was sexually, he'd show me his pay pay and I'd cry. She should consider herself lucky. There, I'm just going to say it. Had, had you ever seen her? She looked like she was hitting the face with a goddamn hammer 50 times. 50 times exactly. She had the biggest nose. All it was, I couldn't even see Paula Jones. Every time she was interviewed, all I saw was a nose. And I'm like, why is there a big nose on TV talking? Just like, yes, Bill Clinton did bad things to me. Like, what? there's a fucking nose. Like, just seriously, a nose. And it's got an ugly hairdo on top of it. What is that? But Jennifer Flowers, let's bring it back to this little slut tramp who's at 50, should know better now, or whatever age she is. God, can you imagine what that pussy looks like now? <laughs> fucking looks like fucking beaten salami. <laughs> Anyways, Trump got his panties in a bunch because Hillary Clinton invited Mark Cuban to the debates to sit in the front row. Now, she might have done it as a dig. I wouldn't put it past her. She's pretty hardcore and evil. But... I really think what it comes to is more Mark Cuban's idea. Mark Cuban and Trump do not get along because they're both rich boys and for some reason they can't get along. And they probably just talk smack about each other because they're rich and they have nothing else to do. Um, so Mark Cuban was... My theory is he's like, listen, bitch, put me up at the front row. She's like, I'll put you wherever you want. You're paying off. I, I bet you he donated crazy money to Hillary's campaign. So he's like, he gets to pick where he sits, right? I want to sit up front, see this motherfucker, try to form an argument without name calling or whatever and fail miserably at it and then I want to see you stare at him evilly for about evilly stare at him evil like for about an hour and make him cry and so Mark Cuban's gonna sit up front so Trump got his panties in bunches like well if Mark Cuban's coming maybe I'll invite that prostitute Jennifer Flowers so he called her at the bunny ranch I think she was there I'm not sure and said hey you old prostitute can you come over and sit and basically you know bother Hillary because Bill used to fuck you and that makes sense somehow and she's like, well, yeah, the blowjobs aren't coming fast and furious anymore. They're only paying me $5 a blow now. I'm, and I'm only making $10 a week. How does that sound to you, how I'm doing? Yeah, I'll totally do it. They're Jennifer Flowers now. Now they're interviewing her again about how she's going to go. And she's going to sit there. And she's accepted the invite. The only invite you should take bitches to a bakaki party. Because that's all you're fucking worth, you nasty, disgusting slut, you. Now, I'm not excusing Bill running around his wife, but I understand it. I don't understand why a woman who sits there and wants to claim she's a victim and sexually naive and all this shit, all these women, plus the big nose, Paula Jones, that ugly, disgusting bitch, would sit there and expect you to think that they're victims when they knew he was married. They knew he was married. And don't give me that shit that Bill Clinton was trying to rape a bitch. I'm sorry, there are lots of rapists. I've got on rapists before. And anybody who rapes a girl, she had her cut, cut off and shoved down their mouth and then, you know, sewn back onto them, cut off again and shoved back down their mouth. I, I ain't got no fucking respect for rapists, Bill Cosby. Anyway... If you rape a chick, I'm not down with you. But these bitches are lying their ass off. All of a sudden, it took Jennifer Flowers, Paula Jones, and all these other chicks like, uh, yeah, he once, and it's not even like, no, he threw me down and he raped me. It's always like, he showed me his pee-pee. That's like rape. No, it's not. 
No, it's not. And it never happened anyway. You know you're lying. Bill Clinton ain't stupid. Bill Clinton might be a pimp. Bill Clinton might be fucking around his wife, but he's not dumb. He's not going to be flashing his shit in the White House or, you know, even when he was fucking, you know, governor. But, hey, take a look at this. <laughs> no, bullshit. Stop lying, sluts. Stop lying. Nobody's believing you anymore. Plus, you associate with yourself with fucking vampires like that tranny Ann Coulter. God damn. Have you seen it lately? Oh, it, it, it's still got the blonde hair and wears a cocktail dress, but... It, oh, it, she looks like a fucking junkie you'd see begging me for spare change on the side of the street. But yeah, I hope if... So, Hillary, look, I'm not necessarily, necessarily for you. I, this is the worst election choice. I hate both of them, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of either one. But um, I hope what Hillary does is Jennifer Flowers comes. She goes, you know what? For whoever's moderating the debate, I don't know if it's Anderson or some other CNN fact, but you know, whoever's moderating, she goes, you know, before we get started, I got one thing to do. She puts her hair back, takes her sandals off or her shoes off and goes out there and shoe beats that bitch. <laughs> Jennifer Flowers, you motherfucker, what the fuck? Do? You really want to fuck with me here? You really want to? I hope the cameras get it. I hope she follows her down, beats her into the hallway, beats her into the lobby, takes her outside, beats her some more, then, you know, pulls her fucking pantsuit down and just lays a fucking piss on that girl's face. That's what I hope she does for her. I swear to God, because the bitch deserves it. And that's the kind of trash she is. <sighs> See, once I spew all that negativity out, I can go help the orphans like I'm planning on doing. Yeah, I have, to, I, have, I, have a, I have a church group in five minutes. That's the thing, right? Peter.